So which extraction platform should I go with? Um, well, what are we trying to do? We're trying to target in on specific cannabinoids or specific terpenes. Um, when it comes to, I really just want a cannabinoid rich distillate and that's really what I want and I want to possibly take that distillate to isolate. Ethanol can be a good considerator there. I would say we're looking for a more full representation of the plant. And we want the terpenes and we want additional uh, flavonoids that is pulled along with the cannabinoids. Then the use of something like a hydrocarbon system or a supercritical system really facilitates that more efficiently than ethanol. So that's something to consider. The other point to consider is concentration. Uh, whenever we are extracting, we usually are looking to extract and concentrate with that the source biomass or material also concentrates. So we concentrate potentially things that we don't want. So the quality of your biomass is really important in this consideration because you don't want to be concentrating things like pesticides or heavy metals in your extraction. And that's why we also offer a testing solutions, but it's just to make sure that we have high quality biomass. Now for those out there that have heard anything about extraction, we usually have mechanical and solvent-based extraction. And there are usually proponents in each camp on which is the better or the preferred method. As I said, there really isn't a better or preferred method. It really comes down to what you're trying to achieve. Uh, for mechanical uh, separation, we usually target the removal of the trichomes from the, uh, the actual bud. So things like a dry sieve, where we use a mechanical sieve and we break off trichomes. Uh, it's very similar to concepts like ice water hash, bubble bags, where we're just agitating and trying to remove the actual trichomes, which contain a lot of the uh, terpenes and cannabinoids and the uh, cannabinoids. And then things like a vortex trichome separator uses uh, by agitation with water to do a bit of a water-based solvent extraction. Um, and then there's things like rosin press, where we apply heat and pressure to extract uh, our oils and then things like screw press gets found in more industrial applications where we might be processing and squeezing hemp in that regard. Uh, the more commercially viable uh, extraction platform tends to be solvent based. And the reason for that is the solvent really gets to get in there. So a solvent is able, if you prepare your material correctly, the solvent is able to get into contact with your product compound of interest and really strip it from that material. Um, and this is really particularly useful in terms of CO2, where we could have subcritical and supercritical runs. We could use it in ethanol, where it's usually run cold, and I'll sp explain the reasons for that, uh, where we strip also from that. There's hydrocarbon, there's larger uh, pentane extractions, hexane extractions that are considered. A lot of home users might have tried MCT oil. Uh, it's not an ideal carrier necessarily for extraction. It works, but uh, there are far more viable commercial extraction companies that we can discuss at the top. And uh, NAPFAM and other refrigerant gases, there are always new solvents being tested in this space, uh, and even interesting concepts like centrifugal partitioning chromatography. Where what we're doing is we're basically using a chromatography system that's in a centrifuge, and what it does is it allows for a mobile and stationary phase to allow for good selectivity. So using a system like this, you could potentially target uh, specific cannabinoids in the initial extraction, which is quite useful to be able to do. Uh, it's just a question about scalability and costs. So uh, the more commercial options are our CO2, our ethanol, uh, 